are finally out at the farm. The off-grid trailer for weeks and even months has been at my house, uh, being doing the install, getting everything ready, and now we're finally out at the farm, ready to do the final tweaking. And uh, it's already been installed out on the barn and everything is ready. And uh, it's just time now to get things going, to make sure that everything's working right. Going to go in there and just get it all tested. So come on with me and we're going to check it out. We're going to uh, do some testing, test some of the settings, check, make sure everything's working today. And it's going to be really nice. Uh, it's working so far really well, but we're here to double check and just make sure that everything is on track. Yeah, we got it all hooked up out here. The array is installed, as you can see behind me and the barn is coming together. This is going to be an off-grid event venue uh, for weddings and parties and, and uh, different kind of family gatherings out here. And it's all going to be powered off-grid with the GrowWatt 12K inverter. But we're going to get things going, uh, going to get in there and get some things tested. And so this is what we got going on. But you can see behind me, this is the farm as it's, as it's put together right now. goes we've got about uh, 10 acres or so out here and um, I think it's gonna be a really good venue venue when they get it all put together now up here in the barn it's a little windy today uh, out on the farm but you can see behind me the off-grid trailer and um, kind of the barn and what we're trying to do the build that we're building and uh, got an upstairs loft going on, a little little 12 foot wide section down there, the width of the whole pole barn, uh, with an upstairs section for uh, folks going up there just enjoying themselves. All this is being completed in the next few weeks, maybe a month or so, and uh, gonna be getting out here and getting things done. But today we are here to do some testing, some final testing, and hopefully get this thing set up, finalized and running like we want it. Uh, the array is up and everything is put together. Let's go take a look at the trailer and see how things are progressing. Yeah, here in the off-grid trailer now, um, we've got it all set up. Uh, you might remember from the last video, um, just everything that was put together. The only thing that's given me problem is the GrowWatt charge controller right here. And it just doesn't seem to want to work as it's supposed to, even with the communication setup between the GrowWatt inverter. Got that yellow cable right there, a uh, Cat5 cable that connects the two, and all the settings are coming off of the inverter, uh, all the charge settings. But when the battery disconnects because of low temperature or because a cell gets too high or too low, what happens is it cuts off the charging to the batteries but this GrowWatt charger then starts not knowing what to do with the voltage and it causes this inverter to go up to about 64 volts, maybe 62 volts, and it bounces all around and all of a sudden it throws a high voltage disconnect from the inverter and shuts off the AC power. That really shouldn't be happening uh, when there's no charge being received or taken to the batteries it really should just be sitting there even though the array is on. So we've gone to turning off the two arrays that go to the charge controller because this charge controller is misbehaving and we wouldn't want it to be throwing high voltage disconnects coming from the inverter. As you come outside you can see how we hooked up the uh, combiner boxes coming off the roof. We brought four uh, arrays down. We brought them down into this box here and those are Anderson power poles and we can simply just disconnect this and there's another one inside the trailer. They all connect into the into the trailer. That's uh, number eight SO wire and then the power comes back into the building through this generator input and uh, we connect the uh, number six wire um, split phase 240 volt connection there and it brings the uh, AC power back into the trailer but today we're going to be installing this charge controller this is going to be a Signier uh, charge controller very similar in form factor and similar in, in uh, specs and uh, hopefully hopefully we will get a different result and if not 
probably going to upgrade to a Victron charge controller to replace that grow, rot, grow watt charger. All right, so we've got this controller here that we're going to be trying to install and to replace the original uh, grow watt charge controller that we installed and hopefully this will give us the settings that we need and not allow it to overvolt like it's been doing uh, and causing the overvolt protection shutdown of the, this main inverter right here. The Signier is all connected and uh, it is ready for its first test. We're going to get in there and get that going just as quick as we can. Um, got all the connections made, got to do all the settings and we'll get that all together. We're going to try it out. What we're going to do is I'm going to cut the uh, charge to the batteries from the BMSs to see if that throws the, um, the inverter into a high voltage disconnect. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get this going in just a minute. Well, I've been running the uh, Signier power charge controller for a couple of hours and have done a few discharges and charges. Right now it is sitting with the battery in the BMS uh, accepting no charge and the array is on and the power is holding steady. So my assumption is that it, we have got it. It's doing what it's supposed to do. We're not throwing a code 3 um, high voltage disconnect from the inverter anymore and so I think this is wrapping it up so I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna put the cover back on the charge controller here get all that buttoned up put the uh, the wire ties back on the wall close everything up shut everything down looks like that's about what we want to have happen so uh, I think we've got it so the off-grid farm is now fully functional uh, we have 12,000 watts split phase, 240 volt uh, power going to the system. And uh, we have the well pump already operational in the ground. It's out there. The well pump is right out here. Pardon the, um, the wind. It's kind of windy today. And I don't have my mic on, my good dead cat mic, but there's the well pump. And so we just bring it right on back around here. This is the cover that they built for the trailer. And the trailer sits here in the off-grid solar farm and power, mobile power station. Basically what it is, it's a mobile power generator and it seems to be working just right. So that pretty much sums up the whole project. Um, in a week or so, we should have uh, several circuits going, get the big fans going. Here's the big fans up inside the barn, and we've got several power circuits. We've got room for a band if they want to do a performance out here. And uh, so it's looking really good. This is going to be a venue farm, and I um, hope you enjoyed this build. And if I get another build going, I'll make sure I shoot some video of that. Also going to take you on a tour of my own private uh, off-grid grid share solar system at my house and that will be in a future upcoming series.